15. We've got 15 more minutes. And we'll take a look at our Decatur cannon, and they'll probably uh, uh, zoom that around a little bit. This is in the city of Decatur as these storms are pushing off to the north and east. A lot of rainfall, some heavy rainfall, probably some intense lightning. We've already seen lightning strikes here in Huntsville ahead of the storms. And uh, we'll continue to see some blinding rains. That's from the tower cam right now. And temperatures have already cooled off a little bit as these storms are rolling through. The dew point's already dropped to six deg 60 degrees at this point. But a blinding rain there in the city of Decatur. This is along the Beltline in Decatur uh, at Crest Honda. So that's where we're uh, looking at right now. And it's going to be hard with this type of storm to see if there's an actual tornado there because it's rain wrapped. Um, there's a lot of moisture in these storms. So we're probably not gonna have a good view of this if it is a tornado on the ground. And that may be one of the bigger issues today is uh, that any of these storms are gonna have a lot of rain, a lot of heavy rain and uh, some lightning with them. But we'll continue to monitor uh, the uh, tower cams here to see if we see anything. But again, looks like uh, the rain really keeping us from seeing a whole lot at, uh, at this point. Go ahead. Uh, we just got in a severe thunderstorm warning. This one for DeKalb and Jackson County. I'm not sure if you guys saw that or not. We're just monitoring. We took a power hit, so. Gotcha. Okay, so. We're going to switch over to Fast Track, too, um, just so people can have a wide view. We've been zooming in so much of uh, exactly what we're monitoring today. And that uh, severe thunderstorm warning Samantha just uh, mentioned is there in that polygon. It's located uh, there in the yellow polygon. And then what you see uh, just to the west is a tornado warning that's headed uh, towards uh, southern Madison County, uh, areas like Old Railroad Bed, James Clemens High School, Madison Boulevard, I-565. Uh, that area it's, it's very populated a lot of subdivisions in that area if you're in that area definitely go ahead and plan ahead uh, to where your safe place is uh, in your home yeah we've also got a report here coming in uh, right along the county line between winston and coleman county from uh, about a little little over half an hour ago uh, with some structural damage along county road 45 near county road 3734 possible injuries and that time was estimated by radar and that's where you see this uh, little wind indicator here uh, between Coleman and Winston County so uh, that's the only uh, official report that we have so far but uh, are still watching this uh, tornadic storm that has a tornado warning on it we do not have confirmation of a tornado on the ground but uh, what we do have is a tight rotation it's about to cross the Tennessee River right now let's check the velocities on that uh, the rotation is actually somewhat uh, weakened a little bit and that's definitely some good news um, earlier, we had the reds and greens very close to each other, I mean, literally touching each other, and that's where we have those really intense couplets, and now you can see just these little, these little areas in there where the mouse pointer is, where you get some grays, and so it's not completely wrapped up, but it's still one we've got to take seriously, and it could drop at any time, and we've had multiple reports of wall clouds, uh, low-level rotation from spotters that are actually out in the field right now. Uh, here's a live look from Coleman, and uh, if we're not mistaken, I believe that's looking out toward the south, and that's going to be out of the area of immediate concern, at least right now. But still, if you live uh, anywhere, we'll say along I-65, in the Decatur area, or north of there, uh, all the way up to, we'll say, Tanner. Between Decatur and Tanner along I-65, you need to be in your tornado shelter right now. So again, let me repeat that. If you live anywhere close to I-65 between Decatur and Tanner, that's where you need to take cover right now because this storm is moving toward the north and northeast at about 40 to 50 miles an hour. It's moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, so it'll be there before you know it. Don't take any, don't take any chances with this and you want to take your tornado precautions and get down into that uh, tornado shelter immediately. All right, good deal. Thanks a lot, Ari. Uh, Ari continuing to uh, track these storms in the Way 31 Storm Center as uh, we're looking at uh, pretty intense cells there pushing through parts of Morgan County. What I want to do, if you guys could real quick, is zoom out because what I notice is a lot of these cells are developing ahead of the line now and that's going to become that will become a major concern across the area so what we're looking at here here's the tornado warning that continues and again we're watching this for you folks in Decatur if you're uh, listening to us on 97.7 on WRSA light 96.9 um, you still need to be taking tornado precautions in parts of northern Morgan and southern limestone counties uh, and this goes for another 10 minutes these storms are heading into Madison the radar is starting to light up a little bit more and these storms are in intensifying a little bit as we expected east of I-65. My main concern is some of these storms south of Gunnersville 
parts of southern Marshall County, southern DeKalb County, and then all the way back down into uh, portions of uh, down into portions of eastern Alabama. So we'll be watching those. There's no warn tornado warnings on those yet, but they have a potential to uh, develop very quickly because they are out ahead of that main line. So we're zoomed in right now on Storm Force 31 Viper. Here's Huntsville International Airport right in the center of your screen. Here's the city of Madison north on 565. And here's the tornado warning box. And so what, what we're looking at, if you're listening to us right now, on, uh, on the radio, if you're traveling 565 and going west toward Mooresville, I want you to go ahead and uh, either get off the interstate. Uh, this storm is heading northeast, and I don't feel like it's safe to head into a tornado-worn storm if you're traveling. A lot of folks go out, uh, head out of Huntsville uh, between 4 and 5 and 6 o'clock and head into the city of Decatur. We have lots of traffic flowing that direction every day, and uh, the, the actual tornado warning is really includes from Huntsville International back to the west all the way through I-65 and then back into the city of Decatur. So we're watching those areas. Here's some of the areas that will be impacted. I'm going to list these for the folks that are listening on the radio, for those of you watching us on Way 31. Again, we're in continuous long form severe weather coverage. Typically, we would be in our news at four. Uh, however, because of the uh, tornado warnings that are issued, we're going to stick with you until these, these warnings expire and we see no more threat here in the Tennessee Valley. So what we're looking at right now, here's the area. They've circled it. This is the area just east of Decatur of rotation. And we're still taking lightning hits here at the station right now uh, of our cell tower. But uh, what we're looking at is this is moving northeast. It will move through the community of Madison, Harvest. Here's U.S. Highway 72, 565. This is going to move just north. I mean, just north of Huntsville International Airport. Here's some of the areas. Bel uh, Belmina, uh, also New Hope, Mooresville, uh, looks like Salem Corner, Pete's Corner, New Haven. There's Huntsville International Airport. Uh, that's in about 10 minutes. Burgreen Gin, Maplewood, and the city of Madison. This is the community of Madison in 15 minutes. So that's something we'll continue to uh, watch for the city of Madison. And again, the, the warning is actually just to your west and continuing to push. Again, these storms will push into your area and we'll see if they're going to extend this here in just a minute. Go ahead, Samantha. This also just in from our friends at the National Weather Service. We have uh, that severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 4.30 now for northeastern Coleman County, extreme southwestern Marshall County, and southeastern Morgan County. So this is going to be affecting Coleman, Hansville, Good Hope, Baileyton, Holly Pond, Fairview, South Vinemont, and West Point as well. Again, that's going to be until 4.30 now. Okay, good deal. So, uh, so we're watching. There's numerous severe thunderstorm warnings now popping up with these storms ahead of it. The good news is there are severe thunderstorm warnings and not tornado warnings. And we're, we're really online right now for that one tornado warning. Here's a look at our Coleman Tower Cam. Some ominous skies there. Uh, the city of Decatur, you're actually starting to see a little better there. Uh, the rain shaft that was over the city is now pushed off to the north and to the east. And uh, here's from our Way 31 studios right now. It's 81 to look at that, 81 to, well, no, actually, what's the uh, temperature there on the sensor in the... Uh, 68. 68, okay, we got to update those uh, temps on that. But, but we're looking at temperatures, upper 60s, low 70s, certainly supportive for large hail, damaging winds, and even isolated tornadoes. Now, uh, I'm going to let Ari go ahead and explain what you've got up there right now. Yeah, basically what this is, let's uh, squeeze back to the fast track real quick. This is just a product called the Baron button, and it makes everything just really easy to see what are the main threats. Now, of course, we've got uh, wind threat in both of these severe thunderstorm warnings, but we've also got a hail threat. There could be hail up to one inch in diameter headed into Coleman very soon, all right? But we're not concerned about a tornado, at least at the immediate time down in the Coleman area, and that includes all of Coleman County. Now, as you get farther off toward the east, another storm that'll likely produce some pretty gusty winds. This one's just on the north side of Arab, headed into uh, the Gunnersville area pretty soon, and that one could produce up to uh, half-inch hail, which is not technically severe hail. Uh, that warning is mainly for damaging winds, but we've also got some strong winds, obviously, in this tornado-worn storm that's uh, moving through Decatur right now, and uh, those winds are definitely rotating as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. I will zoom in there. 
and you can see some very intense heavy rain. You've got some inflow into the back of the storm here that you can see with some of those uh, lighter colors on the reflectivity, some of those greens flowing into the back side of the storm, and that can aid in some of that rotation as well. Right now, the main rotation that had initially sparked the tornado warning is now north and east of Decatur. So we can, we can give you the all clear if you're in the town of Decatur. Uh, also, Flint City. Uh, it's right over Mooresville right now, though. So please, if you live in Mooresville, get in your safe spot right now. And this is pretty much going to ride uh, right up uh, 565, between 565 and 72, uh, between Mooresville and we'll say uh, Madison. This is going to be pretty close to Madison pretty soon. It'll be interesting to see if the Weather Service uh, decides to continue this tornado warning or not. But the good news here is that the rotation looks to have somewhat diminished, uh, but it's kind of a cycling storm. So we can see that rotation uh, start up again really at any time. And sometimes uh, what the Weather Service will do is actually continue a tornado warning based off that, which is definitely a good idea. So as of right now, the main area of concern where there's possible rotation is over the city of Mooresville, uh, right along 5 to 65 there. Decatur, you're in the clear, so you don't have to worry there. And actually, a lot of this is it's just starting to get east of I-65. So if you've been pulled over and you were kind of waiting for the storm to pass, if you're along I-65 anywhere near Decatur, Mooresville, all the way up through Tanner, places like that, you're safe. You're in the clear. Of course, you're probably going to still get some pretty heavy rain. It's going to be tough to drive, so you may want to stay pulled over, but you can definitely uh, safely travel right now. All right. Good, um, good deal. Go ahead, Samantha. Uh, just in from National Weather Service chat, another report, uh, this one via Spotter Network, that we have um, three-quarter inch hail uh, off to the west-northwest of Mooresville. And uh, someone else reporting uh, via NWS chat that uh, they are tracking a wall cloud northeast of downtown Arab just issued moments ago a tornado warning for limestone and Madison counties until 445. All right, so here's what we have. Uh, tornado sirens, I can hear them going off right now. Uh, we have the siren here on Montesano, right next to Montesano Elementary School. So you're probably going to hear that on your television. And it can be kind of scary when you hear those tornado sirens going off. I know it puts people on edge quite a bit just to hear those after some of the other events that we've been through. But what I want to encourage you to do is just go ahead and take your tornado precautions and remember that uh, this is not a, a one of those days where it's going to be a super outbreak of tornadoes. This is not uh, one of those days where we're going to have large, long track tornadoes on the ground. However, there's still the possibility for a smaller tornado, maybe an EF0, EF1, maybe even an EF2, and those can do damage. And so what I want you to do, if you're in Tony, Harvest, Capshaw, the city of Madison, any of these areas, Meridianville, the city of Huntsville, um, if you're heading up to Hazel Green, very highly populated communities. These are probably the most populated communities in North Alabama. I want you to take those tornado precautions right now. A lot of wind showing up here. This red is all wind. This is uh, very strong, gusty winds that are moving through parts of this uh, community of Madison right now. Uh, what we're looking at, we're actually listing all the communities, and this includes, again, Madison, uh, Cliff Acres, uh, Nolan Hills, Skyline Acres, Rainbow, uh, Belmina, New Hope, all those areas of Madison County, uh, you need to be in your safe place. That means go to, if you have a basement, go to a basement. If you have a bathroom, an interior bathroom with no windows, I want you to go there, get in the bathtub, and I want you to stay there mm -hmm. until the storm passes. Um, and you know, a lot of kids got out of school early today. Uh, some of those uh, schools let out as early as 11.30. So mom and dad may not be home yet. They may still be at work. Uh, that means that you're at home alone. And if you can hear us on television right now, I want you to turn it up and I want you to go to that safe place and listen until it's safe to come out. Um, because we have a lot of, a lot of schools that let out early here across uh, parts of Madison and Limestone counties. And again, what you're looking at right now is the track here. And let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and put the reflectivity back on, and let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what warnings. I want to I want to kind of go over the warnings with you if you're listening to us on Light 96.9 or 97.7, and you're in Madison County right now. If you're in Madison. Limestone or Morgan counties, especially Northern Morgan, the city of Decatur, the city of Huntsville, you need to be taking tornado precautions. If you are in a vehicle right now, and there is a very high likelihood that you are listening to us right now in a car driving somewhere in Madison County, 
I think the best thing to do would be to find a spot where you can pull over if you can get out of your vehicle and get into a safe place, whether it's a restaurant, uh, a lot of times they say to get on the ground. It's better to even be on the ground than it is to be in a vehicle if a tornado is approaching you. Now again, this is not the tornado is not going to be as big as these boxes indicate. These are pretty big uh, polygons that include all of western Madison County and eastern parts of Limestone County. Uh, this would be a very small tornado, so the likelihood of you uh, coming into, in, into contact with this tornado is not high unless you're right in the center of where that storm is. So less, uh, this is the line. It stretches from Fayetteville all the way down to Coleman. We have severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of Marshall County, Coleman County. Lots of lightning with this storm down in Coleman County. We're not forgetting about you folks. It's a severe thunderstorm warning right now. We're concentrating more on the rotation with the storms coming into Madison County. So we're going to zoom in on this storm that's heading into Madison County right now. And uh, what Ari's doing, he's actually putting on uh, what we call, we were looking at the reflectivity. This is the velocity and the velocity right now coming from the high top next rad in Jackson County. That's just one county over is showing possible rotation, but it looks pretty broad to me. And I don't know, um, Ari, what, what else are you looking at over there? But it looks, um, it looks like almost more of a, a damaging wind event. Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like right now. And, and probably this warning is based off the history of the storm. It's had some rotating wall clouds at times. Uh, they did have a brief report of a tornado down in Winston County about 45 minutes ago. And uh, I believe, if I zoom out here, uh, there is another uh, a report from 3.48 p.m., which is about... 20 minutes ago, there was a funnel cloud reported west of Hartzell as the storm uh, rode up to the north and east. So uh, at this point, if I'm not mistaken, Samantha, uh, we don't have any confirmed tornadoes on the ground, correct? Nope. nope. Yeah, no, no confirmed tornado on the ground. This is a radar-based warning. And uh, I can tell you right now, looking at this uh, radar image, it's, it's unlikely there's a tornado on the ground, but there's a good possibility that there could end up being one on the ground within uh, the next half hour or so, or it could even be within the next couple of minutes. Here's the new scan. So let's uh, diagnose that. The velocity's on there. They don't look especially uh, bad. So I can tell you this is definitely not going to be a, like Spencer was talking about earlier, it's not going to be a big, massive, you know, bad tornado or anything. Even if there is one, it would be a, on the small side and brief. But still, we want you to take your tornado precautions if you live in the city of Madison right now because this storm really could drop a tornado at any time. And we've already had uh, a lot of reports of uh, rotating wall clouds and things like that. Okay, and uh, what I want to mention, I'm actually monitoring uh, on uh, Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, I've actually been uh, to the side here while they uh, look at some other things. And one of the uh, one of my Twitter followers is, sh is saying that trees are down in the area of Hartzell uh, per public safety scanner. So uh, th there has been reports of now trees down in the city of Hartzell that could be damaged due to damaging winds. It could be due to a small tornado. Uh, we just won't know. I'm sure that some of the National Weather Service folks where we get these reports of trees down, they'll go out and uh, do a, a survey of those areas. So, uh, but right now we're uh, seeing reports of that. Um, I'm monitoring Twitter and Facebook. Uh, so, and we're all on Twitter and Facebook, all on social media. So uh, it's always a good way to get more reports from folks, especially from uh, storm spotters. And uh, so we're watching that as well. Uh, what we're looking at though, again, this is the area of impact. And what, uh, what Ari's showing us right now is the uh, city of Tony, Harvest, Capshaw, Madison, and Huntsville. And again, I'm trying to think of you folks there on the radio that are listening to us right now. If you are listening to us, you need to be taking tornado precautions and seeking shelter, even though we don't feel this is a major tornadic storm. It still could produce a small spin-up tornado. We've had reports of wall clouds. Uh, this to me uh, really looks like a large cluster of heavy rain and wind right now that's about to move into Capshaw. It's moving into Madison. And I'm very familiar with this area of uh, Madison County. In fact, let's zoom in a little tighter here, if we could, uh, really between Harvest and Madison. Um, if you guys could zoom in a little bit tighter on Harvest and Madison, and I want to show you some of the streets that we're looking at here along Highway 72. We're talking about Nance Road, Wall Triana. Uh, we're looking at uh, anywhere right along Highway 72 there. There's uh, also a Lowe's and a Home Depot in this area. A lot of folks may be at an area of business there along Highway 72. Here's Nick Davis. We've got Jeff Road. 
Um, any of these areas, if you live in any of these areas, lots of neighborhoods down Jeff Road, uh, down Capshaw, and uh, we're talking about uh, Browns Ferry Road, and then as you head on down, um, down toward the city of Madison, as you head down Wall Triana, and, uh, and down those areas, we're talking about very heavy rainfall, uh, possibly some intense lightning. Uh, here's County Line Road. The, all these areas are the areas that will see the wind and the potential for an isolated tornado. And again, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty broad and it's not very well defined. And that's good news. That's good because that means that uh, maybe, just maybe, this is radar indicated and not uh, on the ground or not uh, reported by a storm spotter. So uh, certainly good news there. It's, it's actually moved away from Mooresville. Mooresville, you can go ahead and take your tornado precautions right now. But uh, if you're along 565 heading out of Huntsville, and again, we're running right into the rush hour traffic approaching that 5 o'clock hour. A lot of folks will be driving along Highway 72 toward Athens and 565 down toward Mooresville. So if you're driving out of the city of Huntsville right now around Research Park, a lot of folks work out at Research Park. We're talking about Redstone Arsenal. Any of these areas, you are under this tornado warning. And again, what time does this, uh, let's make sure we know what time this goes until? 4.30. 4.30, so we've got nine more minutes. We're talking nine more minutes for this tornado warning. And I know Samantha's got a little bit more information for us. Uh, yeah, just want to let you know that that severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Jackson, Marshall, and west central DeKalb counties is canceled. So uh, that original severe thunderstorm warning canceled. Tornado warning, though, uh, still in effect for those aforementioned areas. Okay, and uh, so what we're looking at here, and we're not forgetting about the folks in the other areas of the Tennessee Valley, but this is the uh, one tornado warning that we're focused on for the next nine minutes that extends all the way up to Hazel Green. And again, uh, we're looking at a broken line of storms with a lot of wind and possibly some small hail, certainly some heavy rain, and definitely some lightning strikes. A lot of lightning strikes showing up on the northern side of Madison right now. Uh, if you live in the area of Old Monrovia, uh, Monrovia, uh, this also includes Barron Services, which is uh, our provider for all of our weather equipment. Who uh, the, the stuff that you're looking at right now, uh, they're actually under the gun as well, so they're probably uh, taking their safety precautions. Uh, it also includes uh, Skyline Acres. We're talking about uh, Vaughn Corners, Sherwood Park. So any of these areas, if you live in any of those communities, you need to go ahead and take tornado precautions right now. And again, a lot of the kids that are at home right now, you still may be at home by yourself, whether uh, you're elementary, middle school, even high school. I uh, just want to make sure that you're in a safe place until this storm passes. And that means uh, all the kids that are in Madison, Huntsville, Capshaw, Harvest, Meridianville, even Hazel Green, you want to be, be prepared. And then when we give you the all clear, you can come out of your uh, safe place. So we're monitoring the reports. We're monitoring uh, the tower cams to see if we see anything. And what we're looking at here, and, uh, and while you keep an eye on the radar, that's the view from our Way 31 tower cam. And that's a pretty ominous view right there. That's a shelf cloud, actually. Uh, that, that is a shelf cloud. It's actually pushing ahead of the, just ahead of the line of thunderstorms. So, so what we're looking at, and you can see the lightning. Let's keep this view for a little bit because I want folks to see what's coming toward the city of Huntsville. So we're looking at Huntsville, which is we're right here. And that, that edge of the storm is right here along, in between Huntsville and basically uh, Madison. So it's in between Huntsville and Madison along 565. If you're traveling along 565 or 72, this is the view you see right now. And that's a pretty mm -hmm. ominous view. That's a healthy, healthy, severe thunderstorm moving into the city of Madison. You can see a lot of lightning with it at times. Um, it's hard to tell if we see any rotation. Thankfully, we're not seeing anything reaching the ground out of that cloud, but it looks like a long shelf cloud, which is basically uh, along the entire line of the thunderstorms, and we usually see 50, 60, 70 mile per hour winds coming out of that. In fact, if we could, let's take that full real quick and uh, show that tower cam full. And so uh, here's what we're uh, seeing. You can see uh, the uh, heavy rain bands that are coming out of that on the bottom side. And there's some lightning strikes as well on the uh, right-hand side. This is looking off to the west. And I want to see, uh, I a think we're... More, maybe a little bit more to the left. Yeah, there, that's so what I was, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. If we could go a little bit more to the, to the left, 
Um, I can't tell if we're looking, it's hard to see where the Space and Rocket Center is now, um, but if we could pan that a little more to the left, and while they're doing that, yeah, look at, look at how dark that is. Um, uh, and we have some intense, intense lightning. Now, Samantha, while we're looking at this, Samantha's got a little bit more information on these storms. Yeah, definitely a severe thunderstorm warning out now for western Jackson County, also southeastern Madison County until 515. This is going to include the city of Huntsville. You're seeing it on our tower cam. A lot of lightning with this. A reminder to press save. If you hear thunder, uh, you can be struck by lightning. Okay, Redstone Arsenal, Owens Crossroads, Gurley, Skyline, Wood and paint rock, all places uh, where we need to be seeking shelter. Spencer, I would encourage, I mean, anyone to treat these severe, particular severe thunderstorm warnings as you would a tornado warning. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> and so, uh, and that, that thunderstorm really lines up well with what we're seeing on the velocity here because we were talking, with, me and Ari, Ari and I were talking about this cluster of wind showing up in red. And so I think, I think there's a good chance that as that rolls through, even right here at the station, we may see 50 or 60 mile per hour wind. So we're, we will monitor our uh, Way 31 weather sensor, which is on top of the station. It's actually on the roof, and it will see how fast these winds are really going as they pass over Montesano and over the station. But again, uh, we're looking at this area uh, of Madison County, central Madison County, through parts of Huntsville, uh, up, up into parts of northern Madison County as well. Very ominous looking sky just to the west of downtown. Lots of lightning. We're catching tons of lightning on our tower cam right now. And oftentimes when we see an intensification in lightning, that's a good sign or at least a sign that we could have some rotation or a tornado. That doesn't mean there always is a tornado. We can have tons of lightning and still not have a tornado. But research has shown that when we see big uh, increases in lightning, really quick increases, sometimes we can see a tornado. So uh, we're continuing to watch that. And I've got a little more information coming in there in the Weather Center. Yeah. Uh, did you guys have anything? I was just going to say Limestone County has been dropped from the tornado warning. I'm not sure if that's already been mentioned or not. Good call. Yeah, Lime, Limestone County now completely out of the uh, tornado warning, and it's still for northwestern portions of uh, Madison County. All right, we're getting something in via uh, Huntsville National Weather Service chat. The rotation in Madison County is weakened, and if it doesn't re-intensify, we will have to expire the tornado warning. So they're probably going to plan on expiring that tornado warning fairly soon. Uh, while we're at it here, I did notice something else on the radar that I want to show you. Another area of rotation that's showing up, it, it, there's no tornado warning associated with this, but there, there is an area of rotation. Uh, okay, got you there. Yeah, there is an area of rotation uh, just south and east of Madison, and this one will come up the parkway uh towards the north and east all right we've got more information getting a lot of information here at the same yeah, time a lot of information I want. uh we've got a funnel cloud reported at i-565 and greenbrier road about five minutes ago uh, from a storm spotter okay 565 and uh, greenbrier road and then we also have another spotter at 565 and hughes road that reported the same so this is all west of huntsville uh, here here's uh, here's 565 right here and so there's still being funnel clouds and uh, wall clouds being reported with this storm, even though the rotation doesn't look all that impressive on radar. So, still, if you're anywhere in the path of this storm, you need to be in your tornado shelter right now. Uh, anywhere in northwestern Madison County, uh, the city of Huntsville is not actually included in this. Uh, but if you live northwest of the uh, city of Huntsville in Madison County, take your tornado precautions immediately, Spencer. All right, thanks a lot, Ari. And, I, and what I want to remind folks is that uh, a lot of times those shelf clouds can be confused for an actual wall cloud. And, 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 and I'm not sure if these are train spotters or not, but based on what I saw on our tower cam, and I don't know if we can still see it on our tower cam or not, uh, it's getting dark out there, but there's the tower cam. That is actually a shelf cloud. That is not a wall cloud. A wall cloud will be a base lowering from the actual thunderstorm. It will, uh, it will actually not be very wide and it will be very close to the ground. Now it could, there could be a wall cloud anywhere along this line that we can't see in this shot. But right now, based on what I'm looking at, this is a, 
this is very ominous looking, but it's actually just the big parent thunderstorm that's pushing through parts of Madison County. This is actually fairly high off the ground. The base of this thunderstorm is not too low, but anywhere on the southern end or the northern end, we could have a funnel or a wall cloud. We just don't know it. I know we've got more information coming in. Samantha, let's keep this shot for a minute as it comes into the uh, city right now. Yeah, that severe thunderstorm warning for extreme southwestern Marshall and southeastern Morgan, northeastern Coleman counties uh, will be allowed to expire at 430. Okay, so uh, so we're watching those warnings uh, come out and expire, and, uh, and now we're still waiting for this tornado warning uh, to expire.